Array and ArrayList, they sound pretty much the same and sound like they do the same, but there are some important differences. So first of all, they're both used to store elements, what they can store varies. ArrayList can only store objects, whereas arrays can store primitives or objects. Remember that primitives are the most basic data type in Java, which include int, double, boolean, and many more. So if you want to store a primitive type in an array list, you got to use a wrapper that converts the primitive type into an object. So for example, an int would be turned into an integer, and a boolean would be turned into a capital B boolean. Arrays are part of core Java programming and have special rules and semantics in Java, where array list is part of collection framework which include other popular classes such as vector, hash table, hash maps, etc. An array list is backed up by an array. So essentially, it's just a super upgraded array with a bunch of new powers. In this case, there are the methods and the properties it has, so like the ability to resize itself. However, this can sort of be an illusion because all it's doing when it's resizing itself is creating a new array, copying the content from the old one into this new array. Another important difference between arrays and array lists is that array lists use generic types while arrays don't. So in this case right here, the T stands for generic type. So if you wanted to create an array list that stores integers, then you would want to use the capital I integer instead of the T right there. Replacing a generic type is called a generic instantiation. Generic types must be replaced with reference types, not primitives. So what that means is you have to use stuff like, like uh, capital I integer, turtles, pixels, capital B boolean, but not primitives like int or double or boolean. ArrayList contains many useful methods like clear or is empty or sublist. Overall, ArrayLists are really powerful and useful, but in the end, they end up just being arrays on steroids. Under the hood, they still use arrays. It's just that methods are created for ArrayLists that would do something you would eventually want to do when you're using a normal array. So that's pretty much the key differences between arrays and ArrayLists. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.